What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. When it comes to health and tech products, I tend to stray more on the scientific side. I love me some raw data and objective metrics to really test against and see if something's working, which is why my interest in this product even took me by surprise. The Biomat is far more woo woo than I'm used to reviewing. I mean, for goodness sakes, this thing has crystals in it, but fear not. This video will still have some very objective data points as I compare its effects to that of grounding. I've been testing it out for well over a month. And so in this video, I'm going to cover everything you need to know and more about the Biomat, including the good, the bad, and the ugly. So buckle up friends, this is gonna be an interesting ride. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into this, click that subscribe button and join the Type A tribe. So let's begin with the very basics. What is the Biomat? I mean, it looks very simple from the surface, but there is a lot to unpack here. The Biomat is a device that combines three different technologies to achieve its purported effects, including far infrared rays, negative ions, and amethyst crystals. So many of you are probably already familiar with far infrared rays and light as it's used in a lot of saunas to kind of heat the body up from within. And it's been researched for its impacts on things like muscle recovery, blood flow, and decreased stress. And I'll include some links in the show notes below if you wanna learn more on this. And when it comes to ions, this really has to do with electrical charge. And it has been a long time since my chemistry days, but the simplest way to think about it is this. When you're installing a new electrical system into your house, something that has a positive charge, you use some type of metal rod to ground it to the earth, something with a negative charge. So when you take this principle and you apply it to the modern world, our bodies are constantly flooded with positive ions coming from things like our devices, carpeting, and even air pollution. So to help return to a state of balance, we can seek out surfaces that have negative ions like the biomat, grounding mats, and even just plain dirt. And more on my grounding experiments coming up in just a sec. And finally, the crystals that are embedded into this mat are designed to be superconductors, meaning that these minerals act as sort of the delivery mechanism to help your body better absorb the far infrared light and the negative ions that this mat is giving off. So those are kind of the core components of what make this mat so unique and expensive, but more on pricing in just a minute. Before we get to that, let's touch on the Biomat's benefits and what I've personally experienced after using it for over a month now. Now, there are a lot of health claims on their website. Many of them are easy to test at home and some are not so much. But I was most interested in the potential benefits of pain relief, better sleep, and overall relaxation at night. And what I can say anecdotally is that this mat has more than delivered on those for me. I honestly use it almost every single day, usually in the evenings as I'm winding down for bed. But there have also been a handful of nights in which I've woken up and couldn't get back to sleep. And the only thing that helped relax me back to sleep was the Biomat. So of course I thought, well, maybe it's just the warm heat that's relaxing me. But I've tried a lot of heating pads and all sorts of blankets and gadgets and Honestly, this one just feels different, which I know doesn't sound very scientific for someone interested in data. But the only thing I can really compare it to is the feeling I get after a grounding session. So if you're not familiar with that term, grounding or earthing refers to this idea of coming in direct skin contact with the earth. And this comes back to the idea I mentioned earlier about this transfer of electricity. So basically when you walk barefoot on the ground, the negative charge from the earth helps to neutralize all of the positive charges that we've built up in our body throughout the day. There have been a lot of scientific studies looking at grounding and its impact on things like stress reduction, lowering inflammation, and helping improve blood pressure. And if you wanna nerd out just a little bit more, I would definitely check out the documentary, The Earthing Movie, which really got me super excited about all this stuff. Now, I know the Biomat is technically not a grounding mat, but since they promised the same benefits, I thought it would be worth doing some experiments between the two. So I did a series of 20 and 30 minute meditation sessions, both outside on the grass and inside on the biomat to test things like blood pressure, 
HRV, heart rate, and brain waves. And I had to use a lot of products for this, including my Aura Ring, my Muse meditation headband, my Withings blood pressure monitor, and the Polar chest strap. I kind of look like a freak going out in nature with all this technology and gear, but hey, I've seen crazier things in San Francisco. Now, as for my results, so honestly, the biggest differences I saw came from my blood pressure readings and my Muse meditation data. For the most part, my heart rate and HRV were pretty similar across the board. So I took my blood pressure both before and after each session. And in general, my systolic and diastolic blood pressure readings decreased after each grounding session and by a pretty statistically significant margin, which you'll see here in my data. Now on the flip side, I saw slight increases in my diastolic readings and little to no changes in my systolic blood pressure readings after using the Biomat. And who knows, maybe temperature had something to do with this. But I also did a control study using a neutral surface, AKA my couch, and I saw that both my diastolic and systolic blood pressure readings did go up after my meditation session. Now, where I saw the biggest impact of the Biomat was in my Muse meditation data. And let's start with my control numbers. When laying on a neutral surface for an unguided meditation, my brain waves were considered calm for about 11 of the 20 minutes. Now for my grounding sessions outside, here's where I saw some funky numbers. One day I was calm for 18 minutes, another it was 13, and then only two minutes of calm when I was grounding in a busy park. So as you can see, the numbers are pretty much all over the place. But for the Biomat, I saw much more consistency in these scores. 17 minutes one day, 23 minutes the next, and a whopping 27 of 30 minutes of calm while on the Biomat. Obviously, there are many factors at play. Some things are just a little bit out of my control. But I do think that it is hard to make some very sweeping conclusions based on this data. That being said, I think my biggest takeaways are that A, grounding did significantly help to lower my blood pressure, and B, the Biomat significantly helped keep me in a relaxed mental state, which leads me to the pros and cons. So the upside to grounding is it's totally free. I mean, it's a little harder to do if you live in a city and even more challenging in the rain and snow. But the biggest downside for me was distraction. From bugs to babies, I just constantly felt myself getting distracted by all these different sounds in my environment, and that made it really hard to fully relax. With the Biomat, I didn't have to travel anywhere, and I was able to control both my temperature and environment to a T. So the mental relaxation part was a total breeze. And for me, I'm using it to relieve stress and back pain mainly at night or at three in the morning, which wouldn't be an ideal time to ground. But a big drawback to this device besides the size is the price. The full Biomat Pro is gonna cost you a whopping $1,750 and the mini $700. Now, full disclosure, I'm actually borrowing the mini from a family member and we actually scored pretty big with the Biomat Pro, getting it on next door for just $700. And true story, the lady selling it to us told us she didn't really need it anymore because her back pain went away. But still, that is a lot of money for something with very little resale value. But do I love it and use it all the time? Absolutely. Now, before I leave you with my final thoughts, I would be remiss not to address some information I found out about the company. And this is the reason I took some extra time to do some fact checking. To start, Biomat is owned by Richway and the company has been around since 1997, but they operate using an MLM model, something that I didn't realize until after we got ours. Now there are plenty of companies that sell products in this way, but I wanted to provide full transparency because MLMs haven't always had the best reputation. But the story doesn't end here. What I came to find out is that the founders did spend some time in prison after $4 million in tax fraud. Now this happened back in 2016, and one of the original founders still sits as CEO of the company to this day. Now I reached out to the company to ask them for some clarification around the circumstances, as well as for a copy of the FDA 510K document they cite on their website, but only returns a broken link. Now I did get a response back with a copy of the document. As for the tax fraud, they cited a conflict with the government, 
but that's about all I got in terms of the circumstances. Now we will say the founders did serve their time and paid back those $4 million in taxes and interest. So I'm not telling you all of this to dissuade you from buying the product, but rather to make you a more informed consumer. But I'm not gonna lie guys, this was a really tough one for me. With a lot of the products I love and review on this channel, I often interview the founders and they are on a mission to really help people's lives. Do I think that the Biomat can help people and has healing properties? Yes, but do I think the company is in it for all the right reasons? Questionable. Now this definitely puts me in a weird place as a reviewer, but those are the hard facts. And so I leave it up to you, the viewer, to decide what you wanna do with that information. At the end of the day, this is a product review, not a people review. I mean, we all make mistakes, and I guess the most we can hope for is that we learn from them. Now, even though this is an MLM, I'm not part of it, and I make absolutely no money if you decide to buy the product. So I will leave a link to the website in the show notes below if you wanna learn more. Thank you guys so much for watching. As I mentioned before, this was an interesting one and certainly a challenging one for me to review, but I really appreciate you guys bearing with me, sticking to the end, and I hope that you found some of this information useful and helpful. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified each week when I drop a new video. And until then, I can't wait to catch you on the next one.